Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Napoleon Total War. So I just ended it. I did I was starting an end turn and look what immediately happens. The French attack, so we're gonna fight this out like honorable Dutchmen. If we weaken them here, we can go on and take Paris, hopefully. If we take Paris, we take one large piece of their army. They will be a lot weaker then. Or we don't take one large piece of their army, we take one large piece of the land. And in this episode, we're also going to start attacking their navies. Taking as many ship surprise as possible. Well, as many ships of the line as we can find. Hopefully they have some 106 gunners or something like that, because I need some first rates. Some 80 gunners I'm hoping in larger, basically. Anything smaller is, eh, no need for them. Let's see. With the terrain being what it is, and with the French having reinforcements, we're going to limber up there. I don't know where the French reinforcements come from, so that'll be a mystery. But at least we'll fight. Let's put them on the left flank. Pause. I do believe they have a proper general. Focus their cannons. There they go. Ah, oh, we got one cannon. Two cannon. No, just one. My eyes deceived me. Now there's two. We of course need to knock out as many of their guns as possible. Okay, not necessary. We're not in a hurry either. And they don't have a proper general. There's one. They have one left. Come on, finish off that last one. Oh, there we go. And now we also find out where their reinforcements are coming from. And let's see about killing the general as well. So, where the hell are they reinforced? Oh, okay. We are rather safe from their reinforcements. I wonder if their other units also have, uh, or their other army also has. Nah, not a proper general. Let's thin the line somewhat. Just so that we have uh, a better fighting line. Eh, like that is the best line. Wait, did we lose the cannon or just the horses? Just the horses.
No, we can't easily shoot any of the other units of cavalry. Shoot those guys. We want to kill the general here regardless. And we're going to go for that line, I think. We'll be shooting up the hill, but whatever. It'll be fine. Their line is slowly marching up towards ours. Move our cavalry over there. Our lines cover just about the entire width of the map. Fire at the general. Let's get those generals. We want them dead. Use barrage. Huh. Their cavalry has decided to say hello. Square formation. You as well. There we go, they're stuck between two squares. Hopefully this will be enough to force them to hopefully shatter. They've broken. Our breaking is of course not good enough. There we go. Now they won't be an annoyance anymore. I hate it when that happens. Are they almost within canister? Almost. Now they are. Focus the French Marines. French Marines. We need to kill as many of them as possible. I said the French Marines. I know you're still firing at those. Col Colon d'attaque. Well, the bit if real threat is the French Marines. Since those are the elite units. Okay, those are the real threat. I think they're shooting at our men at a cannon
slowly more and more, more Frenchmen die. Focus on the French Marines in perfect position to shoot them. Are you reloading? Yeah, reloading. Uh, I think all of them are reloading now. Never mind. They have two units of French Marines. It'll be nice weakening those elite units. Like you can say what you want about French, but the French Marines are still a formidable foe. Go for that regiment of Colon d'attaque. They're under all kinds of fire. Cannon fire, small arms fire. Well, it's about time that they broke. Get out the marines again. The marines are the ones I want to see the dead the most. Or at least out of the battle. Mm, doing fine. Taking a few shots from cannon. Let's load ball for those guys in square formation. Ah, they're running away. Oh wow, they're still busy all the way here on the right. Let's have both of you move up. To get twice the firepower on those guys. Wait a minute, their cannon are moving. Change targets. To the eight pounders, of course. Now that they are out in the open, our chance of easy kills is over, but whatever. I also think the terrain is somewhat limiting because they're on the low ground with a hill between us, kind of. But 
But we'll keep on fire on their artillery. It's not like they'll be able to break through. They tried before, they failed. They should try again and fail again. Really? Who? Um, I can't see which unit has used up all his ammunition. He, 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 he. This guy. Okay, you go melee reserve. So his goal is going to be fight in melee if the situation arrives arises. Okay. Reload ball, shoot at the artillery. Go sit there. Go Yolo charging to him. Okay, another unit used all its ammunition. Oh, you're stuck there, sadly. This has been a rather drawn out fight, so we're running out of ammo everywhere, pretty much. And not a one. That one, in fact. Yeah, you to hold the line for now. You to gents. Move over there. You to gents, charge into the cavalry. Stop them from. Uh, Charging into our cannon. Okay. The cannon men, as I'm gonna, or uh, the melee men, as I'm gonna call them. Come on, get them, boys, get them.
This has been an extraordinarily ba bloody battle for both sides, I believe. For one side, I believe. I said both sides, then I check, checked my losses, and they're not too significant, really. Let's be pessimistic and say 100 men per unit. You know. That's just uh, 2,000 men. They have surely lost more men. Ooh. Okay, reload cannon. Shoot those cavalry. It's time to move up our cavalry to attack those cavalry. Or cannon, I mean. Let's get those. And let's form a new line. Like so. These gents go over there. Mm. You can charge into those cannon. But those cannon over there is too close to some infantry. Wait, they're just making it too easy, aren't they? That is one cannon destroyed, or one group of cannon, I guess. Come on. Come on, one guy. Right on to the next one. Just ignore the fact that you're getting shot at. We want to kill as many of their cannon units as possible. Come on, don't break, don't you dare break. Come on, one more unit. Well, two more technically, but... Come on. Come on. One more cannon, there we go. Go fight in melee now against that unit of cavalry. Our men are running, sir. Oh. Let's run away. Oh wow. That unit has lost a lot, and it's still losing. Yeah, just run away. 
We have gotten rid of most of the cannon, that's what counts. Shoot those fuselage of line. Just get out of there, cavalry. Just keep on running. On the bright side, it's them that attacked us, so we don't have to worry about winning. Let's fast forward. Let's have our cavalry units on here. We'll have those there. So that we have uh, melee units on each side. Just in case. And while I know those on the left side technically aren't melee units, they're not capable of doing anything else right now. On another road, these could really go to canister shot. To do a lot more damage. Although shooting the general is even better. Killing the battle in general is way better than that again. Having the general break before he manages to charge a cannon is of course best. Okay, good. Please tell us they remain broken. Not doing much damage to them at the elevation, due to the elevation. Shoot those colon the attack. Simply due to the amount of units Cologne the attack consists of. Oh, they're charging in. Never mind. They changed their fort. Probably after being hit by some canister shot. Uh. Form the line. We need to ensure that our line is full of men with ammunition at all times. So that we... Ah... Oh, not again. Nothing on this side. Not you. Okay, you. We 
can't keep this going for too long for sim one simple fact. We don't have the ammunition for it. Okay, the battle is almost finished. Okay, you gents, you go back. You charge. Cavalry will move up to get those artillery. Cannon will provide supporting fire. And here we'll see our melee troops in action. Well, they charge into the French line. It ain't much, but it's still a line. Some of them got to fire in time. Charge into this those cannon. Uh oh. Those fuselage of line are going to support provide support. And if left to their devices they can do a lot of damage to our units. Let's have our cannon cease fire. And let's see our cavalry bring victory. Hopefully. Probably. We have a lot more horses, so... Even a small unit of horse almost has more horse per unit. And now let's finish off that bloody cannon. Uh, be right back. Welcome back. Sorry, my apologies. I got interrupted by some important business right before we ended this battle. Let's continue the battle. Kill all artillery. And attack those guys while you're at it. And let's fast forward. So yeah. Going to end the episode after this battle. Good, the RT is dead. Join in on the party. Kill those fusiliers of line. The more we can kill now, the less we need to kill later, after all. That reminds me of the capture mechanic in Medieval 2. It's kind of disappointing that they don't have that in any of the, the Total War games. Like, except Medieval, I believe. It was kind of a cool thing. Oh well. 
I guess it wasn't worth the time, we're ending it there. Close victory. I can kind of give them that considering how many men we... Or how much ammo we lost. Oh yeah. That's the stuff. Oh, there's another French army. I knew it. Uh, we shall not bother with them for the moment. Um. Oh, Napoleon, we shall not bother with that. We need to go and intercept that fleet, uh, that army. Oh, yeah, after this end turn we'll end the episode. No point in going any further. So, thank you for watching and uh, if you liked it, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.